Having an orso is what makes a piece of art great, but finding an orso isn't always easy, especially if you're new to art or you're interested in realism. And so I'm going to show you three simple steps that I took to find my art style in a short period of time and what I did to distinguish my own work from the work of other artists. And also at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a simple trick that I use to never run out of ideas for drawing in your own style. So the first thing that you need to do, and it's the most important one, and I know that this is something that some people overlook and might not take into consideration, is the fact that you need to see what you're interested in the question is how can you possibly find your interest like when we are starting to just like look at arts we don't really say oh that's interesting like we can't have a distinct taste about art and artistic works but we just look at art and we say it's yeah it's beautiful and then another artwork comes around and we say yeah that's also beautiful of course you're gonna call everything beautiful because you're not really aware of what you want from an artwork and i think that in order to understand what you really gravitate toward you have to come up with a collection like you have to really collect all the arts that you're interested in for example you can pick a platform like pinterest and just try to gather as much art as you can like those art that really interest you and then when you have that file of a lot of pictures then you actually have to look at it deeply every picture that you came up with just look at it like what is the quality that is common throughout the entirety of that file like is it about the color write it down like what sort of color like a creamy color or you know like any sort of color that you're interested in just write it down and then maybe it's about the line art you write down what the quality of that line art should be and then maybe it's about the way that eyes are drawn so you actually pin it down and put words to that and then maybe it's something else maybe it's just about the way their hair looks like so look there can be a lot of quality that you are gravitated toward but you're not gonna understand what sort of quality unless you actually try to study other artists work it is the most essential thing that you could possibly do when it comes to drawing and finding your own art style. I see that so many beginners don't do this, but you need to actually sit down, look at a drawing that has been drawn by, by another artist that you admire, and just try to find what sort of quality there is to it. Like, what is it about their lines? Like, how do they achieve that line quality? And you can investigate even further to go on their accounts or anything that they have on internet just look at how they do that and what is the process of achieving that art but the most important thing that i could never ever overemphasize is that you need to study other artists work you need to study it by looking at every aspect of their art and trying to actually explain what it is and you need to quite diligently just sit down and copy a lot of artworks copy a lot of artworks that's the first assignment that you are assigned for finding your art style and what is going to happen in this experiment is that you're gonna inevitably just look at every aspect of that artwork because without knowing fully what kind of art style it is you're not gonna be able to draw it so like you're teaching yourself to have that sort of art style by just copying it and the second step would be to just start a sketchbook and draw obsessively like every single day you have to just go on and draw and really you know motivate yourself by the work of other people and also you need to draw from reference but at the same time drawing from your imagination so there are benefits to drawing from a reference and there are also benefits to drawing from your own imagination because when you're drawing from your own imagination you're more likely to find something that might not be conventional and then like try to make that a part of your style because like if you just like try to just draw from reference that's 
Of course, that's so important because the only way to improve your drawing skill is drawing from reference. But then again, when it comes to finding your own style, you have to experiment on your own and try to come up with, you know, features that you've never seen before. You all of a sudden just invent something new, which is probably the representation of what you have learned from all the other art style that you've copied. Because when you're letting yourself free, you're now drawing all the lessons that that you've learned from your subconscious and putting it on a paper or on a screen and you're cementing your knowledge in a way and i am telling you about this because i actually experienced it myself like personally i know how powerful it is to improve your art style because before even opening up a sketchbook before even having a sketchbook i was like so focused on getting every detail of my painting right and i was like really into realistic drawing and i didn't know that you you should have your own style if you want to become an artist even in realistic paintings like there are so many ways that you can develop your art style and i was like just doing bigger pieces and never practicing in a sketchbook like when you're practicing in a sketchbook it's a whole nother game you're coming up with ideas you're coming up with your own style you're drawing in a very messy way and then you're you know trying to get something out of that mess and that's how you're gonna learn you have to be messy otherwise you're just gonna be stuck in realism and you're never gonna learn to be unique as an artist and i'm not saying that realism is not a good style of art even if you're actually a realistic artist you can absolutely have your own unique way of doing it your own style i'm not gonna have an opinion on realism because i'm not really interested in realism and that doesn't mean that it's a bad thing it just means that i am not interested in it and another step that i took to improve my art style and upgrade it is finding the story behind it it's not just about the drawing it's not just about the lines it's not just about the medium that they're using it's also about the story because a large part of your art is how you represent a story and not every kind of story is going to be fitting to that sort of style because like if you're for example thinking Thinking about a movie you're not just gonna make that movie in any style you want you have to pick a style that is suited to the story behind it right and to understand this I recommend that you pick up a lot of comic books and try to understand how the style is related to the story behind the comic book and you can also just watch a movie and after watching it uh, just draw it in your own style see if it fits that story and that genre and so with everything you just like try to to fit your soul into that story. It's like you're becoming flexible in your soul. You need to draw various things in your soul so that you're not just drawing human beings. You can draw animals in your soul. You can draw hands, head, torso, feet. You can draw everything. And as I promised in the beginning of this video, I'm going to give you a tip on how to never run out of ideas when you're drawing in your soul. And it's related to what we just talked about, which is having a reference board. A reference board is having multiple references instead of just one reference to have like a reference for the entire mood of your painting. And each element of your drawing is going to be inspired by at least one of the pictures that you picked for your board. So everything has a reference. The color has a reference. The lines has a reference. The entirety of the painting is just a collection of all the references that you have in front of you, which makes your work infinitely easier. Also, if you have any sort of tips for finding your art style, leave it in the comment section below if you want to. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that I can see you in the next video. Have a nice day.